Women and various women groups today stormed the National Assembly to protest the rejection of three main bills that seek to support women's representation in government, either appointive or elective. This placard carrying women protesters who blocked the main gate leading to the National Assembly complex said they are expressing their anger against the rejection of gender and equality bills faulting the voting procedure used by the leadership of both Senate and House of Representatives leading to the killing of the bills. Leader of the group, Abiola Kyode, described the rejection of the reserved special seats of 111 for women as wicked and inhumane and called on the federal lawmakers to revisit and vote in favor of the bills as a matter of urgency and necessity. It's a matter of power. When you are dealing with vulnerable groups, you feel that you have power over. Yeah. You know, I can do anything to that person. Yes. What we saw in the National Assembly yesterday, the disdain, the impunity with which the gender bills were thrown out and voted out, the noise we heard, we didn't show any form of remorse whatsoever. It was a noise that is telling us what can we do? Yes. Who are we? Who are the women? What can they do? Which power do they have? So it's a noise that reduces us as human beings. It's a noise that affected our dignity as a person. And that's why we think it's important for us to say that this country belongs to all of us. Yes. We are co-owners in Nigeria. Yes. We are not minority group. Mm -mm. We are a majority group. Yes. The census population can say 49.7, but we all know that we have more women yes. you know, than men in this country. Yes. So in terms of number, we, we cannot be pushed back. So we are here to redemand. If it is pen that they use in writing what they wrote yesterday, if it is electronic voting, it allows for people to vote over and over. They need to reopen that election. I think the system was down yesterday. Yes. <laughs> the system has to be up again. Yes. Recall that both the Senate and House of Representatives during the consideration of the Constitution Amendment voted against the special seats for women in Parliament. If passed, the bill would have come down to creating 111 extra seats for women at the National Assembly. Well, Bosse Ironsi, the executive director, women's rights and health project managers of Ireti Resource Center, is joining us live now on the news. Good evening, Mrs. Ironsi. Good evening. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Now, let, let's lay the foundation to all of this. Apart from the fact that the uh, United Nations has set aside the month of March to celebrate activities that concern women, why are these bills particularly important to the Nigerian women at this point in time? Thank you very much for uh, taking us back to uh, uh, what, what is so important to Nigerian women. First, Nigerian women are human beings. They have the same brain with the men. They can do what other women, if you go to other countries, Women are occupying positions. They are bringing in their best. And we are feeling it. We are seeing it. During the COVID, we saw what happened in those countries where women were in leadership positions. And they were able to mitigate the impact of COVID-19. I'm just using that as an example. And so for how long are Nigerian women are going to be relegated to the background? For how long is Nigeria going to be different from other countries that, for example, the affirmative action that is saying that women should be represented, should be given that position at least 35%. And the, 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 House of, uh, uh, the National House of Assembly and the, 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 the people that, that seem to represent us are saying no. So, and we can no longer wait. We cannot continue like that. And then if we don't act now, it means we will have to wait for another 10 years 
another uh, several years to come before our voices will be heard. So how long are we going to continue? Okay, well, the federal executive... I think it is very important now that the women are out there to say no, enough is enough. Okay, so FEC, the Federal Executive Council, today approved a revised um, uh, national gender policy to promote uh, gender equality, among other things. That's a day after the lawmakers rejected this women's bill. Um, how do you process this coming back to back? Well, I think that for me, I would say it's a, probably a way of telling us, please calm down, you know, uh, you don't have to go to the length you are planning to go. Because I think that... Um, in as much as we believe to some extent what the uh, Federal Executive Council have tried to put in place, but at the same time, we need that law that is guiding us. We need that law that we can hold on to so that in, 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 the, in, 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 in the process of governance, we'll be holding those in positions accountable. All right. You have earlier stated that Beijing affirmation statement, um, the 1995, I believe, uh, 1995, the Beijing declaration uh, that stipulated that women should have a certain percentage of representation in governance. Now, that's 25 years after. Uh, today, you still have just 19 women out of the 469 legislators in the country. That's 4%. Uh, how... how do you see any way that this gap can be bridged? Do you see of how course. this can be bridged? It can be bridged, and these are ways that we have put in all these various bills that will think that it can be bridged. For example, what you are trying to say that I, for example, my husband is from Ebony State. You are saying that after five years and 27 years, I cannot have a representation from my state, from my husband's state. I cannot be recognized as, as somebody who has a role to play in my state just because I'm from another state. And that's a way of telling me that my services, my whatever I can contribute to the development of the country is irrelevant, it's not important, except if I have to go to my state. And I think that is wrong. It's a way of telling me that I'm not needed, I'm not uh, important, and I'm not relevant in every cycle of it. And don't forget, too, you're also telling me that if my husband is from, uh, uh, maybe from Britain, or wherever I live, maybe Ghana, that they cannot be citizens because a man marries from that same country, they are, they can, they can, you know, their wives automatically becomes, uh, you know, citizens of this country. And I think that's a way of relegating us to say that we are irrelevant and we cannot continue like this. We cannot... Uh, uh, make women who are just about 50% or more than 50% of the population to relegate them to a level. But look at here what our economy are saying. Look at the, 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 the bad governance we are seeing. Look at the, the hopelessness of the country. Our children are dying. Our, our you know, of, our hospitals are not working. Women are paying rights, you know, price for, 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 for bad governance. And we are saying, okay, let's put our own, uh, 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 our own God-given uh, strength and energy and capacity to, to make the country better. We are saying that, no, you can regulate us. You cannot give us that opportunity. And I think that if we don't visit these bills, this nation is doomed. Were you, were you able to make it to the protest ground in Abuja yesterday? I am planning my in Lagos. Okay. I because may not be able to go to Yes. Okay, I've never seen... I've never seen... I'm planning my in a local government. I, we cannot continue because what happens to one woman happens to every woman. So it is not just those in Abuja alone. It is not just anywhere. It is all the cities. We are going to mobilize women so that we let them know that this cannot continue. We cannot be at the receiving end of all the bad decisions. And we, we cannot be scraping my, my hair when I'm not there. I have to be able to take decisions about what happens to me. Okay, well, I was just going to say that I've never seen the Nigerian women, well, in a long time, come out so organized in such a large number against the Ninth Assembly as they did yesterday. And you're saying that there's more, there'll be more protests. Are you saying there'll be more across the country or Lagos? Let Definitely. us know what's, what's in store. Going to see, you are even going to see men coming out to, 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 to say no, enough is enough. Because we are their mothers, 
we are their sisters, we are their daughters, and they cannot afford to relegate us. Well, Mrs. Bosse Ironsi, thank you so much for your time. Uh, she is the Executive Director, Women's Rights and Health Project Managers of Erecti Resource Center. Thanks for your time and good luck with your quest. Thank you very much. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.